Why are we discussing Hensel's medallion with Death Mold as opposed to asking Hensel himself about it? That's a little bit strange, but all right, we'll see. Got a lot to talk about with Death Mold today. But first, can we find Sheila around here? The whole camp's gone berserk looking yes. for the coins. Adam Pangrix. in the air, scavenging around the tent. What is this? A secret rendezvous? Be an entertainment. I am your humble servant. What's your name? Greetings, Master Witcher. I thought your name was Shingles. <laughs> That's why I was trying to look at it. The Sheila. She Sheila is in one of these camps, right? That's what I've been assuming. Where is she though, actually? Hey, Sheila! I gotta get rid of my tattoo! No, we've already looted the whole place here. Including the king's own hideout here. Where is Sheila? Isn't she like a... a guest around here? So I assume that- oh, maybe that one. The fancy looking one, because these ones are just normal. Yeah, the, the other fancy one is Death Mold. Grown lads with their in the there air. we go. Scavenging. We haven't talked to her in a while anyway. Oh, have we talked about this already? Oh, this one's white. A sorceress like you must know bundles about paranormal phenomena. Any mage's knowledge has little to do with superstitions. The wild hunts no superstition. Indeed, the phenomenon exists. I want to know everything about it, including what you know. You're out of luck. I've never concerned myself with it. I'm also not interested in whirlwinds or hailstorms. All right. Know how to remove a tattoo? No problem. I'd need some green mold, white myrtle petals, and wolf's aloe. I've got the necessary ingredients. Let's get to it then. Though it seems strange to want to erase a work of art. Doesn't quite attract the ladies when you have a, a tattoo of a naked lady on your neck, does it? <laughs> now that you mention it! Wait, I can't actually... Oh, there we go. Um... I feel like we've had it for so long, so a part of me is like, Oh, I kind of want to keep it, but no, I think... Because, <sighs> to my knowledge, this carries over to three. And there's no chance to get rid of it in three, so I think that's that's a little bit too much of a commitment for me. So long, tattoo. Mm, just get rid of it. Wow, now my neck looks so plain. Am I gonna be okay? Will I miss it later? I can't have it back. Oh, well, what's done is done. Let's go talk to. Death Mold, Plebeian then. Entertainment. Long live the Look king. at that, boys. Aww. Well, there's a lot of new ones now. What the? You must know a lot about the Wild Hunt, as one of the reigning majesties among mages. Uh, I simply cannot concern myself with folk tales about corpses flying about on intensely emaciated steeds. The wild hunts no myth. Hmm. Spoken to the king yet? Indeed, he was delighted to hear he can be cut from the curse. Great, because I need the medallion of the priest known as Crest. I heard it's in Henselt's possession. <laughs> He'll give you nothing until you free him from the curse. Truthfully, I believe I understand him. You have a good chance of perishing when you confront the Draugrs. Give me a break, Deathmold. The two of you are just afraid I'll leave this entire mess in your hands. Ah, that is something I do not fear at all, for I know exactly why you're here. As for the king, you may curse him and scold him and call him a fool if you wish, though it's not something I would advise. I know we've been in the Kedweni camp for a while, but technically we don't have any allegiance to this place. In fact, the fact that we're in here will make other people think that we're with the Kedwenis. So, I mean, I could just leave. It's not that big of a deal to me. All I need to do, my angle in this, is just that I want to get the fog out of here. That's pretty much it, I'm pretty sure. Learn anything new about the curse? The mage on the other side of the fog is also probing the battlefield. A sorceress. How do you know? 
You shall know them by the fruit of their spells. Magic differs with the brain type that generates it. The female mind is simply laid out differently. It could be Triss. No, Witcher, it's someone far more powerful. A more powerful sorceress? Not Triss? Philippa Eilhart? How many do we know? We don't know that many. She's she's in Redania, right? So she shouldn't be here. Dead Sabrina Glefisig. <laughs> I think I know how to free the king from his curse. Well then, let's get to work. Can't do anything until I have the spear the soldier stabbed Sabrina with. Problem is, it's in the hands of a Scoia'tael commander named Yorvith. I know this Yorvith. Are you certain this is the spear? Mm-hmm. I last saw him back in Flotsam. Yorvith is in Vergen, Witcher. Along with most of the Scoia'tael from the area, they've joined that peasant girl's insurgency. Yorvith part of a peasant uprising? It doesn't make sense. There's only one way to confirm or disprove it. You must cross to the other side of the mist. What of the other artifacts? Do you know them all now? Not yet. In that case, you must wait until you've learned everything before crossing. It's a dangerous voyage. Not one to attempt twice, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I'd say. <laughs> I've already attempted it and failed. A Yorveth, the Scoia'tael. When we first had our confrontation with the Scoia'tael, didn't Yorveth say that they were working with the Adernian king or something like that? Oh, okay. That's the stuff that we asked before. Okay. Ooh. I need magic powder to mark out the runes. Are you aware that the formula requires powdered camphor resin? I am. Then you must also know that the resin is extremely valuable. <clears throat> Either way, we're not paying. Get Henselt to pay you. I need the powder to do the exorcism, reverse the prophecy, and release him from the curse. You should have said, I'll give you as much as you need. Thanks, on the king's behalf. I have one more thing you might find useful. What's that? You asked me for protective runes. I've done better. Take this grimoire, which details many. I believe there's even one for syphilis. What? I've marked my recommendations. Thanks. Do I want to know why you... Never mind, never mind. I've got to get through the mist, or I can't lift the curse. I shall supply the white flag when you set out as our emissary. The lass is reputedly honorable. She'll welcome you, invite you to a feast, and with a bit of luck, you may even plow her. You're sick, Deathmold. They say she's very pretty. Peasant girls, not to your liking? Not your concern. In case the elves lack an understanding of diplomatic symbolism, please also take this armor. With his majesty's blessing, I might add. A king's concern can be boundless when his life depends on that of another. I spent some time working on this recently. This little marvel will guide you through the fog and provide a measure of protection from the specters. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you. That's what I was looking for. Is it just me or is Death Mold a little bit like socially unaware or what? Why does he keep bringing up such weird things? Like, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he's just a huge pervert. See you. Lift the curse from Henselt, then discuss the medallion. I asked about two things. Did I not? Level up as well. Okay. Okay, which one did that actually... Okay. Eternal battle. Find the... We don't have the standard. We don't have the sword. We have the armor. And we're about to get the medallion. Go to the other side of the mist to get the spearhead. Can we go to the mist from any side? We had several entrances from earlier on. Hensel's advisor told Geralt how to get through the ghastly battlefield, equipped with an amulet to repel wraiths and a white flag for playing envoy. Geralt went through the mist towards Vergen. He hoped to find Yorvet, since according to the relic vendor, the Scoia'tael leader was the current owner of Jahan's spear. Does that mean that we're actually gonna get to explore Vergen, or are we just gonna go really quickly and come back? Wait? Wait? This one is just the main quest. Lift the curse from Henselt, then discuss the medallion. Yeah. Okay. Right. I thought we need... Like, we need the medallion to lift the curse, right? What? Is my understanding a little bit off right now? Is the fog and the curse on Henselt considered separate things? Maybe, maybe. Hatred symbolized. Faith symbolized. Death symbolized. Hatred symbolized. 
Ask about Vandergrift's sword on the other side of the mist. Ah, oh, okay. It looks like to progress, to find the rest of the items, we gotta go to the other side. This is just whatever. Okay. Okay. Let's put the focus on... Oh, the standard as well. Oh. I guess we're crossing. Everything is telling us to cross here. Yes. Let's put the... Yeah, let's put the quest on this one so we can find where the mist is. And I guess we are... We're gonna head right off. But we should probably level up first. So here. Ooh, I feel like we should do this one just because the 150. Vitality plus 150. That's a lot. Damage reduction by 15%. Does it stack? So is it 15 plus 5% or just 15%? Not quite sure, but either way, it's still really good. Group finishers. Kinda interested in that one. Whirlwind. Adrenaline generated through sword blows. Okay. If we're not interested in the other stuff here, then after we get to the end of this one, and get the, what I assume is the most powerful skills on the tree, then we can actually go back and start focusing on this one again. All resistances. Heliotrope. Yeah, okay. Let's go back to here, and we will get this one. Oh! Oh, I have two! I have two! Okay, cool. Mmm... I don't know. There's not really anything that I'm itching to get, especially after the, the group attack one. That was the one that I really needed for crowd control. Do I want sword damage plus 15% just because that's always gonna be good? Going back a little bit. Yes, these uh, the second level seem to exponentially increase in usefulness, so that could be that could be a good thing. Although right now I don't feel like we need it because um we're pretty much cutting through everybody like butter right now. So if I increase it to fifteen, that might be even easier. I'm gonna pay attention to what happens when we fight again, but if it continues to be really easy then I might move the difficulty up to hard, just to make it a bit more of a challenge. Especially because it's a long game and we've got a lot to play still. Chance of instant kill? Okay, well let's just go here. Unlocking group finishers. Adrenaline bar. So how do I- how does this- ooh! I can mutate the- Mutations! I don't know how to use any of those. How does that work again? So this one I can mutate. But not all of them. In fact, of all the skills here, this is the only one I can mutate. These two. Um... Okay, we have these mutagens here. They add percentages. So it's kind of like a enhancement onto the skill itself. Okay, uh... Okay, I feel like I don't really understand this, but... But, damage 1 to 2, greater vitality, uh, more health is always good, that will make us more durable. Is it okay if I just do this? God, what if I'm making a mistake? Space, sure. Can I do more than one, or is it like one only? Mutagens, ah, okay, so we can't, see, ah, I see, I see, okay. Um, I guess I should add more as we can, because why would you want to not mutate it if you have the mutagens to do so? How many do we have, though? How many skills can we put mutagens onto? None of these ones yet. How do I tell? How do I tell? Is it the little, the little circle here that tells me? Okay, okay, I see. <laughs> I still don't know how to do this. <laughs> is it gonna tell me, or is there like a... Um, yeah, maybe I should be looking into the glossary later to find out. Fortitude. Vigor regeneration during comp. Vigor plus one! That's not bad, that's not bad. Are there any mutagens that let me have more vigor? <laughs> maybe not. Damage. Adrenaline generation. Not sure what that is yet. Armor plus one. Instead of these stats being on armor or a sword, we put it on our own body, so it's always with us. Well, this one has a lot of percentages. Wanna go for this one? Sure. <laughs> sure. Alright. Ah, okay, when the slot gets filled, 
the little the little dots filled out. Okay. Might as well just put some on on all of them. And more percentages. I'm looking at the the rarity of this too. Epic seems good. Damage bonus on signs. Damage bonus on signs. Rare, magical, epic. Adrenaline generation hitting foe. Does the mutagen attach to the ability? Like for example, this one's arrow redirection. So if I put a mutagen on this one, if I put the adrenaline generation mutagen on this one, does that mean that adrenaline generation only happens when I redirect arrows? Not too sure about that part. But I guess we will... I'm sure we'll have more slots later on, so I'm just gonna put some, like, random ones here first. Let's just put... Damage 1 to... Vitality is always good. Let's get more vitality. Okay, awesome. We still have one more slot here. I'm gonna just sit here about that for now, and we will move on. Wow, that was a lot of changes. I should probably make a hard save here. I learned the hard way that... Even if I quick save, if the game crashes, then... Ooh, Zoltan! If the game crashes, then all the quick saves go away. So, yes, I'm gonna need to be making hard saves periodically here. Good to see you, you old rogue. Why the long face, Zoltan? Everything's fucked. The only sight worse than a sad dwarf is the sight of a very sad dwarf. I don't suppose you have any vodka? I see things are worse than I thought. I feel like a monkey in a cage. Those pricks act as if they've never seen a dwarf before. If you need a change of climate, come with me. I'm on my way to Vergen. You say that as if you're going to the brothel round the corner. Forgetting about the specters? I may have amnesia, but I remember the curse. Well, all I get around here is non-human midget and the like. And I've dwarven brethren on that side. Sure as shit, I'll take Saskia over that prick Hensel too. You really willing to help me cross? Of course. You know, Geralt, I have a feeling that Vergen's where I should be. I get you. Let's go. How do you plan to get through the fog? Thought it was suicide to venture into it. Death Mold gave me a protective amulet. Throw it out! I wouldn't <laughs> touch anything belonging to that dick. We'll die. We'll die. The magical potential of the talisman will cause a local interference in the astral projection, creating disharmony where the what? two dimensions of reality meet. Uh, <laughs> meaning? The mist should part to let us pass. You should have put it like that to begin with, instead of all that crap about astral bodies. I'll go with you. Okay, right now? Yeah, why not? Where is our entry point? The place where we died earlier, perhaps? Yeah, somewhere in that direction. Okay, well, no need to dawdle. Let's get going. All y'all. Hold on. I guess we're leaving the Kedwini camp for a little while then. And this is going to be our time to... I can't wait to have some proper ale instead of that piss water to drink in the Kedwini camp. Thanks again, Geralt. No problem. No problem. We should bring Dandel... No, we shouldn't. Never mind. <laughs> I'm just thinking how how big of a help he is when we have fights and stuff, and the answer is he's not. Can be really do I need to do any sort of inventory management before we go? Emissary's flag. Yes. I guess it's okay if we have this. We better be waving it around often, because otherwise people aren't gonna realize. Okay, I think we're okay on the wait. I Let's go. We're going, uh, do you know where we're going? Oh, wow, I've never... Tough crossing ahead of us, Sultan. Looking to scare me now? <gasps> We're going. And that's that. The head is rolling around. Okay. Yo, God. Whoa! I see the path. The amulet is guiding us. You sure? It is, but we're getting attacked pretty badly. Okay, we should focus on making progress towards the end point, not fighting these guys. I say as I continue to fight them one by one. Okay, Zoltan. Let's go. Oh, we gotta go.
Yeah, these guys actually aren't that hard. But the mist is what's been killing us the whole time. Okay, Zoltan, do you want to just rush past? Because I don't think we're getting to the end of this. They seem to be pretty plentiful. Do we actually... Am I following the arrow here? No, there's no arrow. What the heck? Well, it's gotta be somewhere on the other side. Whoa, do you hear that? Oh, I'm walking through the fire again. <laughs> We're hearing whispers. Let's get over here. Zoltan? Oh, Zoltan, I hope you're behind me. If we stay here, we're never gonna get to the other side. Yes, come here. Oh, what is that? I just noticed we have a bar. We have a third bar under the vigor. Is that adrenaline? This path is going back to the stone. The stone where we activated the curse, right? I think so. Yes. Yes. I don't think we're learning anything new here, though, so this is probably not the way to be going. I say as I loiter around here. Whoa! 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 Should we follow that? Oh, that went by really fast! What was that? A head? Oh jeez, I'm so sorry, Zoltan, but I have no clue where you are anymore. I hope you're still following me. Somehow. The Adrenaline Bar. Group finisher on a group of enemies. Th that was one enemy. <laughs> Maybe not big enough of a group around here. Anyway, we're burning. We're burning. This is not the place to be. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's so easy to not pay attention to your health. What was I doing? Okay, so that time I didn't die from the mist, but I died from the fire, which is <laughs> depressing. Okay, you know what? This time we gotta just. The amulet is guiding. Yes, let's just follow the amulet here, okay? That's what that was. Oh. Hey, don't disappear! I'm guessing this is the right path, though. Yeah, dawdling in the... in the middle of the mist is probably not a good idea. <laughs> the knights, the specters are walking faster than Zoltan! Let's just go. Oh, heads and helmets on the ground. Who was whispering? Whoa! Okay, we made it! Zoltan! Well, that went a lot better than last time. <laughs> Too much dawdling around last time. That one again. Fucking fog. Look at it this way. You'll be able to brag about seeing the ghostly fog from the inside for the rest of your life. Well, I'd rather brag about how I plowed three wenches at once in my youth. Are you are you still in your youth right now? Oh, okay. I thought we were gonna be in a different camp or a different map entirely, but it just continues off here. Okay. Uh, that's gotta be Vergen, right? We got a big thingy over here, but you're going this way? Let's see. No, actually, I thought this was a city gate. But is it? It might not be. No, no harpies. Ooh. Anyone by chance just leaving standards or swords here? No? We see some houses. That can't be Vergen. This is... It's two. It's one house. Witcher, I might have some work for you. Okay. Did I hear you mention a job? Indeed. One very much in your line. I know a collector in Wengerberg. He pays well for all kinds of monster-related curios. Ericus Venom? Neckerhearts? Sounds doable. Harpy Feathers. 
Uh-huh. Why feathers? I never asked. Got the order and that's that. Interested? What kind of coin are we talking about? Why don't we do a test? Bring me a bundle of fine feathers for which I'll pay you, and if we're both satisfied, we'll figure things out. He's gonna want more than a bundle? That'll mean a lot of traipsing around. A few more, yes. So? I'll keep my eyes open, but no promises. I've got more important things to deal with. Twelve harpy feathers. Oh, we don't have them. Whoa. Paint? Have you been painting here? Oh, maybe harpy feathers for like quill pens or something? Somehow I feel like it's not that easy. Okay, well we do see harpies around sometime and oh my goodness, Zoltan has completely ditched me. Probably for good reason. I'm gonna guess we're nowhere near... Medallion's vibrating. Ooh. Ooh, those are harpies, right? I'm guessing we're nowhere near Vergen right now. But, if the harpies are down there, can we reach them easily? If so, I would be totally okay with... Oh, well, they're right here! They're right here and... Wait, the guy lives right next to the harpies? Oh, we're learning about the harpies by killing them, too. I just saw the one of three pop up. Really loving my new sword, all the burn abilities and all. Okay, we're getting some feathers. Good chunk of feathers. I think we'll have 12 in no time. What is this place though? Just a harpy... Harpy breeding ground? Is that a comet in the sky? Hmm. Oh! Is this a boss? This guy has a name. This guy has a name. Yeah, holy crap, we've heart knowledge two of three. Although, like right now, we're just plowing through them, so we don't even really need the knowledge. Nothing? It dropped nothing? No, it's right here. Oh, but I'm still red right now, because they want to attack me. Will they all want to attack me? Okay, well, might as well come over here. Makes it so my looting is easier. Three of three. We should read that sometime, although we might not need it. Oh, is that like a different type of harpy? Yeah, because they had the same name too. The one that started with an E. Are we good here? Is the red circle gonna go away? The answer seems to be no. Do you want me to fight the rest of the harpies? Yeah, maybe this one is like a, a more advanced harpy. Are we good? Okay. But, even if their name is not Harpy, they drop Harpy stuff. Plenty of stuff here. Well, this should be 12 Harpy Feathers for sure. No? Does it tell me if I've got 12? We don't actually know. But since we're on the path down here anyway, let's just keep going. It seems like there might be a underground cave if we keep going. Whoa! Oh my god. Enough! Okay, you know what? Let me- can I save right here? Yeah. I'm gonna try and see if we can move the difficulty up to... hard. Is it gameplay options? 
difficult no difficult QTEs. Wait, those are difficult? The one that we see? Hard. Let's see how we fare like this. If it's too difficult, I'll move it back, but I just want to see because I think I feel like we can do it. Although if harpies appear this often, maybe we don't want to have too much of a tough time with it, but hey, we'll just we'll just try it Magic out. Or danger. Yes, medallion is vibrating. I saw a dead person right here. Tamarian? Magic or danger? Hey, it's one of these things again. I assume it's locked? Maybe these places will be where the... Um, the important items are. Like we have to go through a... Tomb of some sort to get it. The catacombs. What? Oh, really? Okay. Well, this is definitely a place we're gonna come back to sometime then. Oh, there's nests around here. So harpies are kind of like traditional birds. They have nests. Oh, oh can we like... Never mind. I was thinking maybe we could walk up from the, the cliff there, but... If we can't, then I'll just be making a, a loop for no reason. How many feathers do I have? Harpy trophy? Armor plus four. The one we have right now is armor plus three, but vitality plus 50. But we also got a lot of vitality upgrades earlier. Is it okay if I try this out? I don't know which one's better. Like how much, how does one point of armor actually translate? I don't think that's something they'll ever really make clear. So hmm, maybe vitality plus 50 is better. It sounds better. The number is significantly higher. <laughs> so maybe I'll just keep going with that for now. My medallion. You keep mentioning that. Is there something additional here? That I've maybe missed? Not as far as we can tell, but it might be related to the locked chest in the room. So for now, I'm just gonna ignore that. Hey man, I got your feathers. And by the way, this is not how business works. You gotta tell me how much you're willing to pay first, okay? That's, I'm not gonna do your stuff if you don't tell me how much you're gonna pay me. I've got your feathers. Wonderful! Excellent quality! Just what I needed! I'll pay for each and every one! If you're in need of coin, just bring me more. Harpies have become rare in this area. I'm not sure I understand. Supply drops, prices rise. By how much? I'm not hurting right now, so... Pay me twice, maybe three times as much and we've got a deal. You must be mad! I'll not give you that! That's fine. <laughs> you said this was witcher's work, so either agree to my rate, or find yourself another harpy specialist. So be it. I shall pay you more. Wonderful! Sixty! 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 How many... where is it under? Like, alchemy? Well, I got 21 already, so it might not be that bad, but I'm not gonna do it right now. Are there even any more harpies here? No, maybe if we come back later on. Let's go to Vergen. Okay, let's switch back the quest to the Blood Curse. Zari Zoltan, I hope you haven't been waiting for me this whole time, because I've just kind of gone off to do my own thing. There's a lot of crows or ravens here. Is it because there's a lot of dead people here or something? It's kind of scary. Did Zoltan go on without me? If I were Zoltan, I would go on without me. Well, someone's been here recently. Even though... Hmm. There's really not too much here. The only place this goes to is the mist. So someone really shouldn't have been here. Aside from like, Adernian soldiers. Whoa! What's going on here? Kill him! Adon! Stop! You're making a mistake! A mistake? Interesting. There's a war on. Don't know if you've noticed. And wars are won by killing foes. 
Or do I have it all wrong? The Witcher's a messenger. On his way to see Saskia. Not your typical messenger. Well, I don't know if you noticed, but we had to pass through an atypical fog in which your typical messenger would have shit just before he... Enough! We'll not let you inside, Vergen. But you can deliver your message to the commander of the Watch. He's stationed by the town gates. Plowing typical elf. Come on, Geralt. Wow. This town is being guarded by this Goyatel, huh? They're really tight here. Where is your... Where is your leader again? Up here? It's a dog's life, Geralt. I'll tell you that much. Okay, we'll go. We'll go. This whole place is like a labyrinth. Hmm? Ah. Good to keep in mind. Circle of Strength. Oh, this has got to be Vergen. We see some nice flags here. I'm thinking here, though. If I were... If I were Letho and, um... What are their names again? The other two witchers? Where would they be? Because right now... Ooh. Right now, their relations with the Skoyatel are sour, so... And Edern is a Skoyatel-supported city, so they can't really hide here. And then on the other hand, Hensalt... Doesn't seem like they would be there either, because... I'm there. So where would they be? Why is Geralt of Rivia and Zoltan Chive? Pinch me, Burton, for I believe I've dozed off while in duty. Could be an illusion, eh? Or some spectres from the battlefield have lost their way. Maybe we ought to tickle them with an axe, just to be sure. Ha <laughs> ha! I'm afraid there's no mage out there who can conjure up the Witcher's mug, nor the aroma of Zoltan's beer-soaked beard. <laughs> Yarpen Zigrin! Lice eat me if I'm not delighted to see that horrid mug of yours. <laughs> this lad here's scale and burden. Geralt! What are you doing standing there as if you've swallowed a halberd? Got a hug for an old mate! I remember you from the books, I think, but I don't remember what you did exactly. There was a whole bunch of, like, dwarves, there's a whole bunch of sorceresses, and there's names everywhere. I vaguely remember seeing your name. Greetings. Triss has told me a lot about you. We Marigold! Ha! How is the lass? Let me tell you, Scalen. This here witcher's the very embodiment of chivalry. Oh. All the silk cups of the world can't hold a candle to him. And you know why? No, but I got a feeling we're about to find out. The diarrhea thing? Are you gonna talk about the time where I took Triss to the forest so she could go to the bathroom in the books? Uh... Me? A knight? I'd sooner call Zoltan a show dancer. Well then, listen everyone. At the time, we were escorting Cadewani army convoys through the Sherwood Forest. Aye, aye, we served Hensel once, though all was for coin. Anyways, the Witcher was on the road as well, with Triss and Ciri, heading south. The lass, I tell you, was a demoness incarnate. Pure pepper on her feet, and healthy as a horse. But the sorceress fell ill. Some terrible pestilence held her, gave her the runs. That woman needed to go every five minutes. Never seen anything like it. And I've had my share of gut rumblings. This one time, I roasted an old ailing gerbil and... Oi, you promised us a chivalrous tale. <laughs> and I'm delivering it, lad. In any case, the witcher would carry her into the bushes time after time. He treated and cared for her, cleaned her, bathed her. Sounds normal to me. A man looking after his woman. It's too much to call it chivalrous, Yarpin. Ha! Ah, wrong. Triss weren't his woman. Not his wife, nor lover. She was sick and in need of aid. And he was on a secret mission. Might have left her in some city, might have gone off on his own, but he didn't. Know why? Because he's got a heart of gold. He truly cares. A lad like you, Scalen. Don't know that being a knight's not just about thrashing around in full plate, a long sword in hand. It's not just about fighting duels and winning tournaments. Damn, I missed hearing your bullshit, Sigrun. 
Hmm, I don't believe anyone else has tried to tell me that story. How is the wee Marigold, anyway? Not great. The Kingslayer kidnapped her. Oh, damn the dogs. That's downright terrible. I suppose it's no coincidence you're here. No, that's exactly why I'm here. The story about Geralt taking care of Triss might be an interesting one to hear from current Geralt's point of view, though. Because he has amnesia, and I guess we're kind of in a relationship with her right now, but then this person is telling us about a time when we weren't in a relationship, but I still really cared about her. So I wonder if Geralt would think, Huh, oh, I wonder why we weren't dating then. Is it because of other people like Yennefer, or like, what's, what's the deal? Because yeah, th it was made pretty clear that at that point, they were not... Triss liked Geralt. Triss has always liked Geralt, but at that point, Geralt was not interested in Triss at all. Triss could be somewhere in this area. The plague. I've not seen her five years, must be. Since that day, they proclaimed you dead. Last saw her in Rivia, in any case. From what I've been able to establish, the Kingslayer forced her to teleport the two of them to this area, and she's not on the other side of the fog. What did this Kingslayer look like? A huge, bald witcher. Wears a medallion with a snake on it. Sorry, Geralt. Doesn't even ring the tiniest bell, any of that. I might know something. This drunk in Vargan claims he saw a redhead fall from the sky somewhere among the ravines. And then he said the sorceress Philippa Eilhart came around looking for this woman. Shriveled old minx. She sent her servant and some peasants to the ravines after her. But they came back empty-handed. Now Philippa's servant maid's gone, leaving the sorceress angry as a wasp. She even turned one of the plebs into a pig. I spoke to one of those peasants. He claims the lass was no servant, but an Elfgardian agent. And she apparently found something in those ravines. Maybe it was Triss. And maybe it was that witcher. Madam Eilhart, or the old minx as Yarpin calls her, knows she's been duped and can't forgive herself for it. Did the woman flee south, deeper into Edern? Fucking hell! She came out the main gate not more than an hour ago, headed straight for the fog. Thought she might be out to do some magic probing or whatnot. She knew a bit of magic. She might have crossed. I guess I need to visit Shillard when I get back. He's still around? I don't even know where he is. That's the Nilfgaardian emissary guy, right? Yeah. Hey, so the sorceress we're talking about, we were talking about with Deathmold earlier, might actually be Philippa. Philippa. I don't remember too much of what she did, but I do strongly remember that she can shapeshift into a bird, so... I gotta be on the lookout for birds around here. <laughs> How's Yorvith? Any chance I might run into him? Minimal. He follows Saskia around like a once neglected pup. Eyes on her at all times. At least the lass is well protected. What do you seek from Yorvith? Last I heard, you weren't exactly chummy. You heard right. But when I last saw him in Flotsam, he had something I need to lift the curse. Even if you see him, I doubt he'll give you anything out of the kindness of his heart. Perhaps Saskia can convince him? Guess I don't have much of a choice. We're gonna be talking with Saskia soon. I have to see Saskia. To what end? To dispel the mist of wraiths, I need a few magic artifacts. What's Saskia got to do with that? Her sword is one of those items. And what do you suggest I do? Yorvith and Saskia banned us from letting strangers in. And here are two old mates come over from the other side who want just that. A lose-lose situation if ever I've seen one. That ought to be easy to get around. Cow pies ought to be easy to get around, yet we don't always succeed. I'm staying here, Yarpen. I want to join you, enlist. Will you have me in the Dwarven Brigade? Will I have you, Chiefy? Will I plow and have you? Why, I'll make you a fucking commander, you cocksucker! Problem solved. Scalen, you're my witness. Zoltan's no longer a stranger. Aha. Uh -huh. All right. Now I'll introduce you to Saskia, and you can try to clarify the story with a sword for her. Or whatnot. Don't you fret about the sword, Geralt. I promise to ascend to the fucking heights of oratory. Be soft as a mink, cautious as a novice strumpet. 
I'll get you that blade if I have to shave my beard off. All right, then. See that, Scalin? We were headed for a tragedy. Now we're headed for a comedy. <laughs> ah, youth these days. Lacking hope and heart. You know what Zoltan and I saw at Brenner, lad? To us, there's no such thing as the impossible. Any idea where I might find the Dun Banner? Try the Netherworld. The whole <laughs> unit was cut down during the battle three years ago. I meant the unit standard, which symbolizes death. Ah, that makes it a lot easier. We buried it with the remains of the Kedwenis. Where? Just outside Vergen. I'll mark it on your map as the road could get confusing. Strange things are afoot in those crypts, Witcher. Kedweni ghosts scaring off our folk. That would be normal since they were invaders. But one some kind of amateur historian, asking all that venture there about the battle and the Dun Banner. I'll look into it. Thanks. Wait, the historian is the ghost? The ghost is asking you about stuff? Okay. It's nice to talk to you all, but we've got things to do. Ah, that's life. Open the gate. I've got to fetch me a certain sword. Wait a minute. If by some miracle you obtain that cursed blade, I'd advise you not to parade it out the main gate past the squirrels. Got another solution? There's another passage. I'll mark it in the Witcher's map and show you myself. Sound all right to you? It does. In the meantime, I'll look around for that flag. Prime, I'd say. Off we go then. Oh, we are in a completely different place now. The catacombs. That might be the place we saw earlier outside the harpy place. Oh, hatred symbolize. Yes. Blood curse. Spear, sword, standard. How the hell did Yorveth get here before us anyway? Why wasn't he blocked by the fog? Maybe because we were busy with the, the rest of the things that were happening at Flotsam, but then Yorveth was like, whatever, I'm leaving. <laughs> and then he made it here before the fog happened. I guess that must have been it. Mahakam Gate, Vergen. Oh, we got a completely new place here. And I'm guessing if we walk around, we're gonna find even more quests. Um, I'm just guessing here, but since Yorveth is here, I assume that if by the end of chapter one, we sided with Yorveth, then we would be spending the majority of our time here, as opposed to the Kedweni camp. But then eventually, we got across the Kedweni camp anyway to get the medallion from Henselt, maybe? I'm guessing that's something you need to do. Clearing the fog is something you need to do for whatever side you pick. Let's just have a look around for now. Forget about the quests. Vergen! Vergen! Huts on the... No, we've read that, haven't we? Uh... There were many derelict settlements and farms in the area around Vergen. Some had survived in better shape than others. Vergen? This town in the north of Edern was founded by dwarves who established mines in the surrounding hills. As was their custom, they carved their homes and public edifices directly into rock formations, granting Vergen a unique architectural style. Oh, that's a very dwarf thing, isn't it? Efficiency. The town was an important trade center, one of the roads through it, leading into the country's interior. Humans had also attempted to settle in the area, but the disturbances that plagued the Pontar Valley left most of their villages burned and in ruins. Nevertheless, when we arrived in Vergen, it was teeming with humans in addition to its mainly dwarven population. Saskia's peasant rebels and a group of Adernian nobles had made camp there and promptly begun to measure each one, each other, with menacing glares. Meanwhile, all the groups that had assembled in the area were mistrustful of Yorveth's Goyat's health, who strove to keep themselves, keep to themselves, with unmistakably elven aloofness. Truly, if not for Henselt's army making camp nearby, the whole rabble would have been at each other's throats in no time. Okay. Wait, yeah, so Saskia is the leader of the rebels. And then there's Adernian nobles here, but there's also the Skoyatel, and apparently they're not all that friendly. Can we have a look at Saskia? I forgot her role in all of this. Zivik. The Lance Corporal had taken part in the previous war with Edern, which had proven fatal for the Dunbanner. 
Isolated on the battlefield, the unit had been decimated and its standard fell into enemy hands. Though Zivik might have considered himself lucky, he had been recuperating at a field hospital at the time and was thus spared the same fate. The memories of those days and of his fallen comrades in arms were still fresh to him. How could they not be? There was a relatively simple explanation for his ardent faith. The visionary was none other than Yahon, the soldier who had ended the sorceress's suffering by piercing her with a spear during the execution. That event had changed his life and guided him down the path to prophethood. Elthon This inhabitant of a hut near the quarry had one of the oddest jobs I have ever heard of. Namely, Elthon served as a purchasing agent for a collector of harpy feathers, offering the witcher generous sums of for pinions and retresses picked from the carcasses of harpies. Scallon Burden Cecil's nephew, the young Scallon Burden, had been taken in by the Eldermen after the lad's parents perished in one of the non-human massacres that occurred in Eder. As friendly, hard-working, and efficient as his uncle, Scallon took it upon himself to act as Vergen's official representative in his uncle's absence, providing all newcomers to the town with any information or assistance they needed. Yes, I haven't read the main characters in a while now. Dandelion, what you got for me? The pamphlet. Jeez. In hindsight, the pamphlet against Hensel's rule could have been better written. Yet I am pleased with it anyway. I'm not accustomed to ignoring human misfortune, and Hensel made a mistake when he insulted art. I was merely the instrument of its retribution. Zoltan Shibe. Everyone's patience had limits, thus it should not be surprising that he eagerly took the chance to leave Hensel's camp and head to Vergen. Yup. Yeah, I mean, we don't want to be racist and whatnot, but it's nice to be around your own kind after all. Sheila. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's try to avoid all this. I want to read Saskia. Nothing drives a revolt forward like the right leader, especially one who is a young girl known for performing miraculous feats of valor on the battlefield, from Joan of the Ark, coast, to the infamous Falca. History is full of women who led fanatically devoted hosts vi to victory. Interestingly, all of these heroines were not only charismatic but also extremely beautiful. The squint eye, gap tooth, and pockmarked generally have trouble rousing the masses. Saskia, who men would follow into fire was no exception. She was a smooth-skinned lass with blonde hair, dark brows, large eyes, and shapely lips. Her full breasts perfectly complemented her rounded hips. In other words, she was the ideal icon for a rebellion. For, dear reader, if a man in battle receives the appropriate motivation in the form of a lovely female arse, he is likely to achieve miracles in its wake. When there is no such arse to lead the way, the freedom fighter's thoughts quickly turn to harvest time, his own woman, and a half pint of booze at the inn. Sure, Dandelion, whatever. <laughs> News had already reached us of the heroic Saskia, the woman who held Kedwin's armies at bay. At the time, however, it all seemed like little more than exaggerated rumors. As with any true hero, there were many incredible tales about Saskia, some claimed she was invulnerable to fire and had thus survived that terrible battle when Sabrina had rained the very flames of hell down upon the combatants. The girl was also famous for killing a dragon. Ah, Dragon Slayer. One would be hard pressed to find better material for a local hero. Wow, she looks like um, a Final Fantasy character or something. Yeah, can't wait to talk to her a little bit more.